Episode Three: Special Attraction. I'm Ringo Starr, and I'll be narrating this episode today. Toby is heading to a special attraction as he's being moved by a hand on a carpet. Ringo Starr, what are you doing here? I, Mark Morgan, am supposed to be the narrator. No, Mark. I, Ringo Starr, should be narrating. Why don't you go back to performing music for the Beatles? Because the only band members alive in the Beatles are me and Paul McCartney. <clears throat> I'm having trouble breathing. <coughs> Correction: Paul McCartney is the only band member alive for the Beatles. After Ringo Starr passed away, Toby arrived at the station that looked exactly like the one he left. He was going to be a special attraction, but then he found out some bad news from a person that didn't exist. Oh man, they don't need a special attraction anymore. This makes me sad. The fat controller's Aston Martin DB5 pulled up in front of Toby. But instead of the fat controller, a purple man on a surfboard appeared. Hey, Toby, have you seen Percy? No, I haven't. Where's the fat controller? He's sick, so I'm taking over for him today, and he allowed me to drive his car. Percy soon backed up into the station. Which was only made out of dominoes. Why can't you see my face? How did you know you that they couldn't see your face? Well, they can see it now. Anyway, Percy, I need you to head to the docks. There's some guy named Bolstrode causing problems there. Would you mind going over there for me? Sure, I'll go do it right now. Great. Now please excuse me as I fall down because of the finger that's holding me will let go. In three, two. One. Okay, I'm gonna go to the docks now. Percy was soon moved forward by a hand. As Percy was being pushed by the hand, he wondered who Bolstrode was. Bolstrode is a barge, and as you can tell, Bolstrode is not here. Instead, there's a box with the word "Red Ring Shoes." And he was also as mad-tempered as Bolstrode. Come on, come on! He shouted, even though he didn't have a face. Why aren't you cars where you're supposed to be? We have no engine, and we can only be moved where they take us. You're the one that's in the wrong place, not us. But all you cars are supposed to have stones. What you guys are carrying are tar. Milk and coal. None of you are carrying stone. So if any of you are in the wrong spot, it's you. Eh, I guess he's right. Sorry, guys. We gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Percy somehow managed to get on top of the box where the freight cars were. We need to get out of here, Percy. Please get us out of here. All right. Let's get out of here. Percy and the cars were moved onto a bed and started to leave the docks. Even though they were swaying from side to side, they had no risk of being derailed, especially since they were off the tracks. Look what happened here! Two cars moved onto the sides, but they're being moved back onto the wheels as we speak. Nothing happened. Keep going. Oh. Bother! But then there was trouble. They appeared back onto the box, and they were all shocked. So they caused an accident. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. I have an idea, freight cars. Let's head towards that edge over there. No, you're gonna crash into me. But they did it anyway. Well, looks like I'm the last man standing, even though I'm not a man. After the poorly filmed crash, 
Percy returned to the station to talk to Toby. Well, this was quite an interesting episode. We still don't have any track to run on. And we're still inside a basement. And also, this was pretty much a terrible episode. What do you mean? That's a ridiculous question. We have no tracks to run on, the crash was poorly filmed, and a few seconds ago, the guy filming this was having trouble remembering his lines. Also, Special Attraction is not a good title for this episode. It had nothing to do with Special Attractions at all. Even though it was mentioned a few times, there wasn't any Special Attractions, was there? Well, I guess you're right. But at least this episode's over now, right? Right. 